This is an emergency broadcast message brought to you by BMC Software. Please stay tuned for additional information. Today, businesses and governmental agencies are under a constant barrage of security threats that are ever more increasing in frequency and consistency. Hi, I'm Chris Crawford, and today I'm going to walk you through how BMC Software addresses security risks due to the gap between security and operations. We call this gap the SecOps gap. In today's climate, the average number of days to resolve a known vulnerability is 193 days. Over 71% of companies have been negatively impacted by a cyber attack, with 43% of those having had a data breach. This year alone, 52% of companies expect to fall victim again. As a result, companies have incurred a two-fold increase in the amount of effort necessary to secure themselves. And the financial impact is staggering, with over 175 million records reported breached in 2015, with an average cost of $5.3 million per breach against a backdrop of almost 72,000 known vulnerabilities. Operation teams are under the gun and subjected to ever-increasing scrutiny to keep applications up and running. And while the security teams have some tools to identify vulnerabilities in their systems, they rarely have the ability to fix them, especially in production environments. At the same time, the operations teams don't have the time or tools to go through the vulnerability lists they receive from the security teams, nor do they have the skills to prioritize which ones should be fixed first. The result is that the vulnerabilities stay unresolved for months, opening up companies to the risk of reputation harming, front page security breaches, loss of revenue, and litigation. Security teams want to close the window of vulnerability, the period of time during which a bug or vulnerability can be exploited to penetrate a company's defenses. By deploying patches and fixes as quickly as possible, they are very aware of how long it takes to make these changes and vice versa, of how quickly attackers can move to exploit a new weakness. The main concern of the operations team is to reduce both scheduled and especially unscheduled downtime. Gartner tells us that 80% of downtime is due to misconfigurations. Errors in manual data entry, incorrect or incomplete targeting activities, or incomplete execution. The operations team aims to minimize this risk with procedures, but these have the unfortunate side effect of introducing delay into the process. BladeLogic server automation is the only solution that delivers all the capabilities required to manage the SecOps problem by introducing a standardized process to identify, remediate, and track vulnerabilities to automatically and rapidly address security issues. The end result is a more productive IT organization that can focus on driving more value for the business. Let's log in. Once logged in, we are brought to the operations page, which shows us our jobs and their status. Since we are starting fresh, we will need to initially load our scanner file and perform some auto mapping operations against it. The system is designed to support multiple scanners. Auto mapping maps vulnerabilities to available patch and configuration packages. We can also enrich the data by manually mapping vulnerabilities to remediation packages. The mapping we apply here will persist across subsequent scans. We will also auto-map the scan servers against those listed in BladeLogic server automation. Those assets that we are unable to match against should be carefully reviewed since they could be virtual machines that someone has spun up outside normal controls. We call these instances Shadow IT. The scanned asset could also be a proxy server, whereby we can then easily map it to one or more assets under control.
A vulnerability dashboard gives us a high-level overview of the state of our environment. From this page, we can filter through the results and, if necessary, view the details of the vulnerability and the remediations available. You can also select from multiple scan imports for trending your results over time. Let's go ahead and remediate the vulnerabilities we do have using the Vulnerability Management Remediation Wizard. Here we'll simply give it a name and default the description. Here you get the same screen you had on the dashboard with the mapped asset details, which is a line item of every system and every vulnerability that goes into it, but now you have the ability to edit this and remove specific things that you do not want to fix. Now that you've decided which operations to perform, you select a time for them to occur. You can open the calendar and select a date and time. We also have some options for wrenching the change request. This way we get a perfect change request every time. We can also specify notifications for these systems, so if something happens to the operation or the job, it notifies you. Now back to your operations page. Here you can see the operations that were just created for you. They are scheduled to go through the approval process and then run on the date you specified earlier. At this point, your part in the SecOps process is done. The jobs will be approved, tracked, and executed automatically and the vulnerabilities fixed.